بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله In the previous video we learned about the second and third insight in relation to the life after death according to the Holy Scripture of Islam, the Holy Quran. As usual, the previous video as well as the book under study is given in the description below. In this video we will start to look at what Islam teaches in relation to the objective of man's life. So let's get started. The Holy Quran clearly states that the objective of man's life is to worship God and to attain his cognizance. His Holiness explains that since we did not enter this world of our own accord, and neither will we depart from it, as such, we are not in the position to dictate the purpose of our own lives. His Holiness states in this regard, Whether anyone penetrates to it or not, the purpose of man's creation without a doubt is the worship and the understanding of God and complete devotion to Him. At another place, God Almighty said in the Holy Qur'an, Surely, the true religion with Allah is Islam. Follow that nature made by Allah, the nature in which he has created mankind. That is the right religion. That is, the religion which provides true understanding of God and prescribes his true worship is Islam. Islam is inherent in man's nature, and man has been created in accord with Islam. That is the everlasting faith. This means that God has desired that man should devote himself to his worship and obedience and love with all his faculties. That is why he has bestowed on man all the faculties that are appropriate for Islam. His Holiness explains that these verses have a very wide meaning. They are not limited to a very ritualistic or superstitious understanding of faith and religion and are in actuality very practical in nature. As it has been described in previous episodes, true worship is to employ our God-given faculties to emulate the characteristics of God and rise in levels of consciousness. It is to learn to regulate all our natural faculties and employ them at the correct place and time, so much so that they become second nature, but also till they are free from all egotistical pursuits and done purely for communion with God Almighty. His Holiness then explains that the condition of man is such that despite occupying himself with different pursuits and objectives in an attempt to find meaning and purpose, for example by amassing great wealth, holding high office, becoming a great businessman, or a great ruler and philosopher. In the end, man departs from all this with great regret. His heart continues to rebuke him, and he only finds true satisfaction and true welfare in God. Explaining this further, His Holiness states, An intelligent person can appreciate this problem in this way also that the purpose of everything is to be determined by its highest performance, beyond which its faculties cannot operate. For instance, the highest function of a bullock is ploughing or irrigation or transportation. Its faculties are not adapted to anything else. Therefore, the purpose of a bullock's life are just these three things. It has no power to do anything else. But when we look into the faculties of man and try to discover what is their highest reach, we find that he seeks after God, the exalted. He desires to become so devoted to God that he should keep nothing as his own and all that is his should become God's. He shares with the other animals his natural urge towards eating, sleeping, etc. In industry, some animals are far ahead of him. Indeed, the bees extracting the essence of different types of flowers produce such excellent honey that man has not yet been able to match them. It is obvious, therefore, that the highest reach of man's faculties is to meet God, 
the exalted. Thus the true purpose of his life is that the window of his heart should open towards God. Bringing us to the end of today's lesson, in the next video we will start looking at the eightfold path to attaining purpose in life. As usual, the link to the previous video as well as the book under study is given in the description below. Make sure to click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes and please do subscribe, like and share this video so that we can enable as many people as possible to benefit from the treasures of knowledge left behind by the promised Messiah alayhi salatu wasalam. Until next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.